Oh, no. Hey guys, um, sorry I'm a little bit sick, but welcome to my Harley Quinn um, tutorial. Um, we're first going to start by putting white face paint all over our faces. This one is from Walmart, it's like 97 cents. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it. As you see through the video, I have to touch it up a lot. I mean, it does give that grungy feel, but it's just a lot more work than it's worth. So I would. Um, encourage you to invest in um, a white face paint that's a little bit more high quality um, but if you want to do what I did then yeah I'm just using a foundation brush and the cream white eyes um, not eyeshadow um, <laughs> um, face paint and I'm just applying it all over my face and then I'm just stippling it in and adding more white to places with my real techniques um, blending a sponge and you can take this all over your face try to avoid your lips just because when we do the um, finishing lips you know white and red don't really mix you get, you'll get pink so it'll be kind of interesting um, yeah so now I'm just adding another layer I found the best way to use this paint is to do small layers and then just continually layer to get a more opaque white now I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil and I'm taking this matte red color but you can definitely use any matte red that you want and I'm taking this into the crease on my eyes. I've already prepped my eyes but I just didn't show that um, so just use whatever primer you have. Um, yes and so this is just going to be our transition color and it'll make your eyes just look that much crazier and very Harley Quinn. And I would just blend, 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 blend this out until you get a really good red um, gradient color. Excuse me for the sniffles. <laughs> and I'm just using a crease brush. I didn't know if I already stated that. Um, after you get that all blended, we're actually going to go in next with Max Cranberry. And you guys know I love this color. And we're just going to deepen up the crease. This is also going to help blend out the black that we're going to be putting on our eyelids afterwards and just give you that seamless um, black to red eye. And again, just lots of blending. And you can use the same brush. And I'm just going in with um, Max Carbon, but you can also use any matte black you have and just a flat um, eye eyeshadow brush. And this I'm just going to be putting all over the lid and kind of like winging it out into um, a cat eye. I'm doing this especially since we won't be using liner. I just really want to define my eye area and get that kind of almost mask-like quality since we won't be using a mask which Harley Quinn tends to wear. Also, don't be afraid of fallout. You can always clean it up. I'm also just kind of tugging my eye and kind of like helping um, blend that color all over the lid. Um, you can blend as much as you want on the lid. Again, you can go for as crazy an eye look as you want with this character. Um, just because, well, she looks insane. So, there you go. Now I'm going back in with Cranberry and I'm just taking that again and blending the black um, into the red from the um, BH Cosmetics palette and I'm winging it out as well. Now going back in with the Take Me to Brazil palette, I'm using the white shimmery color and I'm using this to highlight my brows. Um, and uh, just kind of again blend out the red into the brow bone highlight and again you can use any kind of frosty white color that you have I'm going in with um, Urban Decay's Perversion eyeliner but you can definitely take any black eyeliner that you have and I'm tight lining both the top and bottom lids this will be definitely something that you want to do especially since we're not lining our eyes it'll kind of um, get rid of any gaps. Going in with the spoolie, I am just kind of brushing my hairs out with the white, and I'm now I'm taking another just flat black and um, a little bit of Fix Plus, and I'm going to be really defining my eyebrows. 
Harley Quinn's eyebrows are very cartoonish, so I'm taking them very um, rounded out, and this will also kind of give you that evil look. After I've done that, I'm going back in with more of that white paint and just touching up and adding another layer um, all over the face with my Real Techniques blending sponge. Um, you're going to be seeing, like I said at the beginning, me do this a lot during um, this video. And I'm just going back in with my foundation brush and um, cleaning up the under eyes with the white um, because we didn't do that at the beginning because I knew we'd be doing a dark eye look. You guys kind of know the drill with me and dark eyes. I guess I should have mentioned at the beginning, but you know, you clean it up and just more white underneath the eyes since we don't really need a concealer. Now I'm just going to be setting all of this with my e.l.f. HD translucent powder. Um, it's just going to help kind of get the skin set and then I will go back in again with more paint later, but it just kind of helps some of the areas that are starting to get a little bit crazy. I'm also kind of touching up with a white um, matte eyeshadow in places where um, only a little bit needs to be done. And again, if you had better um, white face paint, I don't think you would need to do all of these steps. Or if you have like baby powder that's white. I'm going in now with kind of a cherry red blush. This one is from Justin Bieber's uh, collection with Essence, but you can use any red blush you want. And I'm really focusing this on the apples of the cheeks to kind of give you that doll slash um, clown-like quality to your face. Um, if this is too bright, you can always go back in with your Real Techniques blender with just a little bit of the white that's still left on it and kind of blend it out. See, that's, yeah, interesting. <laughs> uh. Now um, we're going to be doing the mouth. I'm first going to be outlining the mouth with um, my Urban Decay liner in Perversion again. And you really want to concentrate on pulling the sides of your corners of your mouth out into that very Joker-like grin. Um, and then I'm going in with Ruby Woo and I'm just going to blend those two together to get that kind of gradient ombre freaky mouth. And um, I'm just using a lip pen. And you can keep doing this as much as you want. Then to going in with a white um, eyeliner and then white shadow. I'm kind of creating that um, cartoon-like mouth. And then to really define the mouth, I'm actually going in with a gel eyeliner in black. This one is from e.l.f. You can use whatever you want that kind of sets. And I'm just pulling the edges out even more and really lining everything. Now we're going to do some mascara before we put on the false eyelashes. This one is just the perversion from Urban Decay. And those were the false lashes. I just didn't show it. Um, now I'm taking that black matte eyeliner and smudging out the under eyes and going back in with the red from the Take Me to Brazil palette to kind of just pull the look together and blend everything out. Alright, now we're going to do the collar for Harley Quinn. I'm going to map it all out first with a white eyeliner pencil. This will kind of help you get the shape um, that you need and also kind of create um, a patchwork or you know what I'm talking about. And then I'm just going to fill it in with that white face paint again and a foundation brush and then the second coat I'll just go back in with um, with my Real Techniques blending sponge again. And this you want to take all the way up to the neck um, because again you want it to look like a collar if you're going to be doing the body paint. You always could just get a costume as well but I just thought this would be fun for you guys to see um, a different way of you know creating a costume. <laughs> Sorry for the sickness. <laughs> um, I'm having brain farts all over the place. Um, again, you kind of want this to be op opaque, but because we're going to be blending shadows on top of it later, it doesn't have to be completely white everywhere. Um, now 
I'm going to be outlining it again with my black um, eyeliner pencil from Perverge, or that's in Perversion from Urban Decay. Um, I'm also kind of creating for the little balls at the end um, some texture with the pencil. And I'm also taking it under my neckline because I wanted to have that collar look. And then I'm just setting everything with that HD powder again. Now I'm going in with a, just a flat black um, eyeshadow, that's what I'm saying, and creating shadows on the collar to make it look more realistic and kind of blending out the um, black eyeliner. We're just going to do that all around the edges and also on the balls of the collar and trying to create shadows. So um, as you can see, like the middle one has more shadowing in the middle while the ones on the sides have shadowing towards the center. Um, when you're doing this you just want to create one area of light and then like any kind of painting go from there. Um, and then I, yeah, I'm just doing the outlines and under the neck um, and then there was on the picture I was looking at she had like a couple shadows where it looked like the collar had gone into her collarbone. Now I'm going in with a flat gray color. This one is from MAC. You can use whatever and I'm just blending that out even more. We kind of wanted to have a dirty look because later on we're going to make her look kind of crazy. And then to create the shadow on the skin I'm going in with a warm dark brown. This one is Espresso and Sa um, Sable from the Lorac Pro to Pro palette and I'm just going on the outside and creating shadows on my skin. This will also help when we do the red and black It'll um, because we're, we're doing light layers it'll create sh still the like shadow contrast um, with the colors. So this is a really nice base step to do for any kind of body painting that you're doing. And then we're going in with the red and just I'm just using a sponge that you can like throw away um, to kind of put the red color down. Um, again, I wouldn't suggest using these from Walmart. These, this one and the black one, just because they're really hard to work with, and they you need tons and tons of layers. And then I'm just going back in with a smaller brush to clean up the edges. And now I'm doing the black. Same thing. Yeah. And you can take this as far as you want. I just took it down to the point where you guys couldn't see it on camera anymore because I'm lazy. But again, um, we're just going in and detailing, making sure that you don't go over the lines where you had your black liner and down the back and the arms. You know, again, I wouldn't do the Walmart paint. I Next time, I will probably pick up a palette like the Mayron palettes, which are wonderful. Now I've got my hair done, and I'm actually going to be finishing up this look. Um, you can either keep her looking sane like this, or what I'm going in with is um, the black again with a bunch of water on my brush, and I'm creating teardrops, and I'm also using eye drops to help the tears come down um, my face, and I'm just continually going over that area with the black and water mixture so that you get that crazy crying look. I just think it's really fun. But you don't have to do this step. Again, this is just a step that I like to do and I got inspiration from a comic book for this. And then I'm just going back in and kind of making it look like she's been roughed up with my fingers and a um, lip brush. And yeah, there's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you so much for tuning in, and of course there will be more crazy Halloween tutorials coming up. Love you guys! Oh no.